We humans have a tendency to think of ourselves as undeniably superior to the rest of the animal kingdom. We've selectively bred wolves into our most loyal companions, forced tigers to jump through literal hoops for our own amusement, and put the king of beasts on display. However, there are a few creepy crawlies that could really put the herd in your afternoon. And if you see some of these, run fast and ask for help. Tsetse Flies If you're like most people grinding away at a 9-to-5 job, then you probably just want a little more time and a little more sleep. But getting bitten by a tsetse fly isn't the way to do it. Not only is this African insect the largest biting fly in its native habitat, it's also a carrier of various diseases and parasites. If you're unlucky enough to have been bitten by an infected tsetse fly, you can expect signs to appear between 1-3 to three weeks. Symptoms start out flu-like with itchiness, fever, and joint pain. But as the infection makes its way to your brain, signs progress to confusion, numbness, and, ironically, trouble sleeping. People will fall asleep suddenly during the day while finding nighttime sleep practically impossible. Untreated, it causes kidney damage, muscle tremors, and paralysis. Driver Ants Driver ants are serious business, and if you happen to see one in their nomadic columns pushing through the forest, you're best to stay good and clear of it. While they aren't known for passing diseases to humans, these ants are insanely aggressive carnivores. They'll eat anything they can get their jaws on, including worms, rats, and any other living creature. To make matters worse, it's nearly impossible to get them to let go. In fact, their bite is so powerful that certain tribes use them as natural staples. But there's more to these ants than brute strength. The driver ants are also extremely smart and can even coordinate their attacks on prey. The combination of bite strength, aggression, and communication should make anyone turn tail from the driver ant. Funnel Web Spiders Australia is home to some pretty gnarly creatures. From poisonous snakes to crocodiles, this place has its fair share of animals that can be fatal when encountered. But one of the creepiest has to be the funnel web spider. This two-inch long black-bodied arachnid boasts one of the deadliest venoms in the spider kingdom. Males are up to six times as potent as females. A single bite has been known to be fatal in as little as 15 minutes. The initial jab is insanely painful. If you get bitten, you can expect to experience sweating, muscle spasms, numbness, and lack of consciousness leading quickly into heart failure. Yep, okay, I'm never going to Australia, ever. Brown Recluse Spider The next creature on our list is native to southeastern US and has a bite with some serious consequences. At only a quarter of an inch long, this contender is hardly bigger than a dime but it packs a potent necrotic venom. Basically, that means that when it bites you, there's a good chance that that part of your body is going to melt, to put it mildly. To be fair, only about half the people who cross paths with the brown recluse require medical attention, and the spiders aren't aggressive, but their bite isn't often felt at first. Often you don't even know you've been bitten until the venom has already started eating away at your body. In rare cases, the venom can even cause blood vessels to burst and organ failure. Most fatalities involve children who are very young or those with immune deficiencies. Kissing Bug They might have a cute name, but kissing bugs are actually a species of nasty, blood-sucking insects. Yep, we were pretty horrified too, especially considering the fact that this vampire bug usually feeds off its victim while they're sleeping. Usually, a bite isn't going to do much other than cause a bit of itchiness, but it's not unheard of for allergic reactions to end in anaphylactic shock or sudden heart failure. The real trouble with these bugs, however, isn't actually the blood sucking, though it is creepy. The problem really is their poop. As if fecal matter wasn't gross enough, this insect's waste can contain some nasty parasites that cause a condition known as Chagas disease. For most, symptoms are mild, but some people can experience muscle aches, fever, and even prolonged heart and digestive issues. Fleas 
Anyone with a dog or cat has probably had these persistent little bloodsuckers invading their home at one point or another. Considering the fact that approximately 68% of American households have some kind of pet, the odds are good that you've experienced this annoyance yourself. But they're just harmless fleas, right? Wrong. Fleas might not usually like the taste of human blood, but just one bite can inject you with a host of dangerous diseases and problems. From cat scratch fever to potential amputation, typhus, and even the bubonic plague, fleas are nothing to shake a stick at. Your best bet at avoiding them is to make sure your pets are up to date on their flea preventative, because nobody wants a house full of fleas. Bullet Ants Cold sweats, nausea, vomiting, erratic heart rhythms, and pain that ranks pretty much the highest an insect can inflict. If any of that sounds like something you'd rather avoid, then you'll do well to steer clear of the bullet ant. Named after the fact that its bite is so painful it feels like being shot, this one-inch insect injects a unique neurotoxin. Pain can last 12 to 24 hours or more, with muscle tremors sticking around for weeks after the initial incident. The bite has been described as cripplingly agonizing, but thankfully the ant's venom isn't necessarily fatal and long-lasting effects are rare. It's just mind-boggling painful. Thankfully, avoiding one-inch long ants isn't exactly difficult. Ticks Alright, ticks are annoying, but are they really dangerous enough? By now, you've guessed that the answer is yes. There are nearly 900 species of ticks worldwide, and all that diversity brings a colorful variety of diseases. You probably already know about Lyme disease, and you might even have heard about ticks making people allergic to meat. But sore joints and not being able to enjoy a nice ribeye pales in comparison to the deadly consequences ticks can offer. While usually treatable, a few unlucky individuals suffer from lifelong complications. And it's not just the deer tick or the lone star you've got to worry about. The common dog tick is one of the largest vectors for the potentially fatal rickettsia. Left untreated, this disease can cause paralysis, seizures, coma, and even fatality. Fire Ants If you thought those tiny black ants that invade your house every summer were a hassle, then you've clearly never seen a fire ant. Or more appropriately, you've never seen a swarm of fire ants. This highly aggressive and invasive species is usually more annoying than anything else. Their stings are painful, but brief and only measure a pitiful 1.2 on the pain scale. But they never sting alone and to anyone who happens to react to their venom, their bites can be fatal. Allergic reactions range from simple hives to sweating, nausea, and even chest pains and difficulty breathing. Fire ants have been blamed for approximately 80 fatalities so far. If you're unsure whether or not you're allergic to their venom, it's probably a good idea to avoid disturbing their nests. Giant Japanese Hornet Everybody knows hornets are jerks. Unlike the productive and mostly peaceful honeybee, hornets will attack without provocation. They do pollinate, but they don't really produce honey. And the granddaddy of them all is the giant Japanese hornet. These one-inch long super jerks eat honeybees for breakfast and pack a sting so painful it often requires hospitalization. Part of what makes it so dangerous is that it doesn't just hurt people who are allergic to it. This flesh-melting venom has been known to take out perfectly healthy individuals with no previously known issues to bee venom. Every year in Japan, 30 or so people have lost their lives to these hornet stings. Victims can suffer everything from sweats to renal failure. If you see one, it's probably best to back away slowly. Killer Bees Killer bees are infamous for attacking in swarms, tens of thousands of members in size. Being attacked by these hyper-aggressive creatures is said to be like something straight out of a horror film. Normally, a bee sting is nothing more than a warning, just a flash of pain meant to teach the target that messing with this hive is not something they want to be doing. With European bees, you might get stung once or twice. But what makes killer bees so incredibly deadly is the sheer size of the swarms the hive sends out. With thousands of bees all stinging at once, 
All that venom adds up quickly and causes vomiting, difficulty breathing, and even loss of consciousness. Your best bet is to stay well away from any hive you encounter. Mosquitoes Surely an ant with a bite that hits you like a bullet or spider with muscle-melting venom would take the title as the most dangerous creature, right? Well, mosquitoes can not only ruin your barbecue, but also ruin your life. You might know that mosquitoes can carry West Nile virus, but few realize that these pesky insects end the lives of more than 725,000 people a year. And there are more than 3,000 species of these little bloodsuckers. Aedes aegypti, which carries yellow fever, and the Asian tiger mosquito. When a female mosquito bites her victim, she injects an enzyme that keeps the blood flowing. That injection, combined with the original puncture, spreads the disease from person to person. These seemingly harmless insects can harbor everything from yellow fever to malaria, not to mention dengue fever, which causes a range of flu-like symptoms all the way to hemorrhaging. This creature causes more fatalities than any other animal on the planet, even more than humans. We hope you liked the video. Which one of these do you think was the most dangerous? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, then please subscribe and turn on notifications to be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.